Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, we're going to be unboxing a couple of the newest Rosecraft Blade knives. One of them's been out for a little while. The other one actually uh, comes out, is due to come out today. So, that's going to be cool. But, we'll take a look at both of them. First one we're going to start with is this guy right here. The Tarkanis, a.k.a. the Bulldog. And... I can tell you right now that these two are probably my favorite of the newest releases, and you'll see why in a minute. But check this guy out. Of course, had to get the red and black one. That's just the way it is. But this now, like I said, the Tarkanis has been out. Mm, it's probably been out a good couple of weeks at least at this point. At, at, and talk about it at this point. At this point, I don't even know what day it is. But it's it has been out for a little while. But got my hands on one. So really, really want to check it out. Got a little front flipper there. Of course, you have the red and black G10. You've got to kind of got that faux bolster look there with the G10. Really nice. G10 backspacer lanyard post, which is very good. Lanyard fans, yes. You do have a deep carry clip that is reversible. Yes, hopefully we're making everybody happy with this one. Very good. As you can see right there, very predominantly, it is an Andy Armstrong design. But done, again, very, very well. Got a little bit of contour going on on those scales, which is nice. Centering seems to be pretty darn good. It's kind of hard to tell it might be off to the show side just a little bit but if it is it's not much as you can see there you do have a couple of different deployment options you do have the front flipper shake shut little still a little stiff oh wow all right that jumps out there off the thumb studs very nice nice thwack a uh, reverse flick. Oh, shoot, I did it, and it wasn't on camera. Oh, man. Sorry. Oh, there you go. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Happy, happy, happy about that. Um, You do have a liner lock. Looks like it's pretty well fully engaged. Maybe just a little off. I'd say maybe 35 40% solid. But, I mean, okay. Just take a look at it, and you guys can pretty much tell why I like it. Nice, clean, straight lines. Good, chunky drop point blade on it. Uh, jimping. Not bad. Feels pretty darn good in hand. I can feel the clip a little bit right down there, but bear down on it. Squeeze. No, nothing too nothing too terrible. Just I can, I can feel it. That's about as far as it goes. Uh, jimping. Uh, jimping's catching about the la about the back half of my thumb right in here. Thumb studs are pretty much out of the cutting edge. It might just cover that back corner just a little bit. Coated blade, RPM 9 steel, as we can see here. PVD coated. But uh, yeah, you guys can, I I'm pretty sure you can tell why I'm liking this one. Definitely want to get my hands on it. You know, just out of the box. A little stiff. We'll have to work it in. Oof. There we go. It does jump off that thumb stud. Okay. Ah, oh, I couldn't go three for three. Okay, now what am I doing wrong? The first two times I did it fine. And now I can't do it. Okay. Never mind. I did it twice in a row the first two times I reverse flicked it. And now I'm like failed three times in a row. So three strikes. You're out. I do really like that. So let's... uh. Let's do a quick spec check on it. We'll see how big the old bulldog, Tarkanis, is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and a quarter. We'll go with four and a quarter handle, right about a three inch blade. Pretty much a full three inch cutting edge as well. Grip length, you're looking at one, two, three, three and a half on that grip length. And as you guys know, that's about perfect for me absolutely feels really good in hand get a quick weight on it what do we got here we're looking at 
4.8. So stout, sturdy, got a little chunkiness behind it. It's all good. A little junk in the trunk, if you will. Pocket clip, a little stiff going over that, but not too bad. Get it over there in the corner, so get it all the way down. Yeah, it pretty much disappears. Pretty much disappears in the pocket. Now, this guy is going to be a little bit big for especially the, the fifth pocket in this pair of jeans. But very good. Really, really like this. Got the opportunity to get this one in hand at Blade Show. And yeah, definitely, definitely looking forward to this one. And I'm very, very happy with it. Like I said, Andy Armstrong design, RCM 013. Very cool. Nice. All right, we're going to set this one off to the side real quick because we have the new arrival to check out as well. They're both new arrivals to me, really. But this is the Terracona or the Dragon. So, like I said, this uh, we were told this one will be available today. So hopefully it's there. And again, it's another one that you'll see why I really like it. Again, you're looking at G10. Open construction on this one. Uh, a, a reversible deep carry clip again. Let's see. Lanyard fans. Is that the... Oh, yeah. We've got the hidden. We've got the hidden lanyard post. See it right there? There it is. It's the hidden lanyard post. Got to spin that around there. You can put your lanyard on there. Very good. Centering on this one looks pretty darn good. Maybe. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe off to the show side just a little bit. Again, are we looking at contouring? Yep, got a little bit of contouring going on on those scales. Nice, nice little pop of blue around uh, your, you got blue and orange. Those are your highlight choices blue and orange it's not red but i like blue i like blue don't get me wrong deep carry clip recess screws yeah very very nice um just feeling around with it chamfering seems very nice looks like we have nested liners on it very good terrific we got i'm sure we had yep we got nested liners on this one too excellent excellent again Another Andy Armstrong design. Now the camera's... Oh, I know why. Go this way. If it's at regular zoom, it just doesn't like to focus half the time for some reason. Andy Armstrong design. Again, flipper. Dual thumb stud. Flipper tab going there. Ooh, gotta get it past the detent ball. There we go. Okay, nice action. Again, jumps out off that thumb studs. Nice. Drop, fresh out of the box. Might need a little juice on it. Try it. Uh-oh. No, this one. Oh, no, it's tight. It's tight in there. I can't hardly get my... Uh, we're just thumb stud it. Or flip it. Plenty of options. Yeah, light switch it. Loosen it up a little bit. Very nice. Again, you got the RPM 9 coated blade. This is the RCM 014. Now this one, not quite a drop point. You've got a little bit of got a little bit of angular stuff going on there on the spine. Oh, come on. Wow, it really doesn't like this one for some reason. Holy smokes. Well, maybe we got to go more. Goodness gracious. There we go. Rosecraft. Kind of a light. Kind of a light wash to it, it looks like. Nice. And there you go. Let's see if it'll show it to you there. It can show it to you now. Got a nice swedge there. Not quite, but still got that angular or clean lines if you will this one's a little bit slimmer but i like that as well now this pocket clip i can feel a little bit more and i do believe it has to do with the just how narrow the handle is 
I can feel it a little bit more than I want to, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah, I can. And it does stand up pretty high. I can feel this one a little bit more than I would like. And I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I got this one in hand at Blade Show as well. I'm pretty sure I did. But other than that, other than the pocket clip, it does feel pretty good. I'm guessing, what do you guys think? You guys know my hand width by now, hopefully. I'm saying it's going to be three, almost three and three quarter, I think. Sticking out there. We'll see. Let's look. So overall, what do we got here? We are looking at... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, about seven and a quarter. Uh, pretty much pretty close to a four and a quarter inch handle. And again, a little over a three inch blade on this one. Three and an eighth maybe. Full cutting edge again. Grip length, where's it at? Oh, looky there. Oh, a little over three and ah, right about three and a half. Okay, right about three and a half. So very good. Like I said, it does feel pretty good in hand. But we've got, I can feel that clip a little bit more than I'd like. And that I'm pretty sure that has to do with the, the narrowness of the handle. Because I'm pretty sure these clips are, no, they're not. They are, are they the same? Yeah, they're the same. They're the same. Now this one's, this one's not quite as high a profile, I don't believe. It's not. Can't be. Let's see here. No, it's not. Yeah. This one on um, this one does stand higher. I, I'd like to Oh, I wished it had the lower clip on it. Do -do -do. 3.2 on the Terracona. The Dragon. So we're gonna oh we gotta show you how it looks in the pocket. We gotta do that. This one's a little bit longer because we're taking a couple of knives out here. But wanted to make sure I got this out there because, like I said, the Terracona is scheduled to release today. But it's not the only one. There's another one releasing today, too. Deep carry. Like I said, again, a little bit big, little bit big for that fifth pocket. Because not only does the Terracona release today, as I knock stuff off the table, uh, the Joka the Joko releases is due to release today as well. So, very cool. I didn't get my hands on one of those yet. Hopefully I will here soon and I will show you that one for sure. But let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of them. Now, I think you guys, like I said, I think you guys pretty much get the picture as to why I like these. Um, pretty much clean lines. Like I said, the Terracona has got a little bit more of the angular on the blade. Uh, I, I will say, now this is a front flipper. And, and you know my, what I've been saying about front flippers. It's not, but this one isn't too high. Then I caught my thumb on it, of course. It's not too bad. Doesn't stick up, you know, way up here. Just not a fan of that at all. Flips pretty good. It's, this one snaps like... That one snaps really nice on those thumb studs. And that's how I will deploy it, most likely, without question. But there you go. Those are the two I really, really thought I would like the best out of the new releases. Round two, if you will. And, oh yeah, I'm right. <laughs> I was right. But let's do a quick size comparison here, since I haven't done that yet. We'll kind of do... A sandwich so you can get all three in the picture so as you can see the PM2 larger than both definitely a little bit more larger than a little bit larger than the the uh, Tarkanis than it is the Terracona I gotta make sure I get all these Terra Terra this and Terra that <laughs> and then of course we'll get the bug out out there so you can kind of get an idea there. So. There you go. Kind of. Yeah, it's kind of in between. Kind of in between them. 
But like I said, guys, not only does the Terracona release today, but the Joka does as well. And remember, guys, when you go over to Rosecraft Blades, you can use that code Big Red EDC saves you 10% on these new knives, which is really cool. Very, very happy uh, to have that and be able to share that with you guys. And really appreciate Rosecraft Blades doing that for us. So, what do you think? Let me know. Love to hear what you guys think down in the comments. It's always great talking with you. Oh, hopefully by the time you see this, these long days will be over. I hope. But, anyway... Really appreciate you guys. As I didn't give you prices, I'm not sure what the price is going to be on the Terracona. I can tell you that the Tarcanus is selling for $62.99. I can tell you that right now. And then, like I said, that code Big Red Easy C saves you about six bucks. So you're going to get it for right around $55, which isn't bad. Which isn't bad at all. And do remember that now. Uh, Rosecraft does have free domestic shipping on orders over $70. So you might go pick up a couple of knives, get yourself free shipping. Just saying. And very cool. And I'm, what is it? The UK, they are shipping to the UK now. Now, not free shipping, of course, but they are shipping to the UK and Canada. So very cool. Very, very cool. Thanks so much, guys. Sorry for dragging this one out on you. As always, Love talking to you. Like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.